Hello and welcome to Verdictum. I'm Sheetal Joon and in today's episode we will talk about the issue surrounding criminalization of marital rape and the ongoing hearing in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has begun hearing a batch of petitions seeking criminalization of the act of marital rape with emphasis that a wife has the right to say no. The petitioners are challenging an exception under the penal law of the country protecting husbands from being charged with rape. It has been argued in the petitions which challenge exception 2 of section 63 of the BNS previously under section 375 of the IPC that case has brought challenge to the patriarchy itself. A three judge bench comprising of CGID by Chandra Chud and Justice JB Pardiwala and Justice Manoj Mishra saw the petitioners response to the center's argument which it recently made in the counter affidavit filed that criminalizing marital rape could severely affect conjugal relationships and disrupt the institution of marriage. To this senior advocate Karuna Nundi who was representing the All India Democratic Women's Association AIDWA responded currently my right to say no is equivalent to my right to say a free and joyful yes she argued that while rape is already an offence the law excludes husband from its purview and declaring this exception unconstitutional would not create a separate offence Senior advocate Colin Gonzalez highlighted that the Indian high courts are contradicting many international precedents such as that of England and Wales, South Africa, the US, Ireland and Nepal while refusing to charge husbands with rape. Nepal answered this question clearly. The Nepal Supreme Court held that criminalizing marital rape strengthens the institution of marriage. Gonzalez argued adding that if a woman says no it must be respected. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta appearing for the center countered the same with suggestion that Indian context is different and therefore the comparison may be flawed. The Supreme Court has made it clear that it would first examine the constitutional validity of the exception clause and then decide whether the marital rape exception should be retained in the new criminal law Bharatiya Nyay Samhita or done away with. Under the exception clause of section 375 of the IPC now replaced by the Bharatiya Nyay Samhita sexual intercourse by a man with his wife if the wife is not a minor is not considered rape the petitions challenge the constitutional validity of exception 2 to section 375 of the IPC which decriminalizes rape by a husband against his wife unless she is under 15 years old One petition specially is against a Karnataka High Court judgment whereby it held that marriage is no license to unleash a brutal beast and declined to quash charges of rape against a man accused of forcing his wife to be a sex slave. A single judge bench of Justice M Naga Prasanna had observed that the institution of marriage cannot be utilized to grant any unique male privilege or a permission for unleashing a brutal beast on the wife. A Supreme Court bench headed by the then CGI NV Ramana and comprising of Justice Krishna Murari had stayed the ruling in 2022 for it was legally untenable. The center in its response has argued that striking down exception 2 of section 375 on constitutional grounds would have a far reaching consequence for the institution of marriage. It said that the comprehensive approach rather than a strictly legal one is needed to address the issue. The center also warned that criminalizing marital rape would severely impact conjugal relationships and lead to disturbances in marriage. In today's fast-changing social and family structure, the misuse of amended provisions cannot be ruled out as it would be challenging for a person to prove whether consent was present. The counter affidavit read. So, where exactly the world stands on marital rape? In many countries this is a punishable offence but at the same time as many as 32 countries have decriminalized marital rape up until 2021 In Asia besides India this list includes Bangladesh China Haiti Laos Mali Myanmar Senegal Afghanistan Tajikistan Lebanon Malaysia Singapore Egypt Libya Oman Yemen and Kuwait With our immediate neighbors Pakistan the picture is unclear In 1979 Pakistani law defined rape as forced sex outside of marriage However in 2006 it was redefined as sex without the woman's consent after the then government introduced a bill to protect women from sexual violence as it stands now the definition potentially makes marital rape a crime however it does not specify this and so the penal code remains ambiguous it has been argued that the bill did intend to include marital rape as an offense However, nations such as the United States, United Kingdom, South Africa, Russia, Germany, France, Canada, Israel have explicitly criminalized marital rape or spousal rape as is the coined term in some of these. With Supreme Court hearing the matter, India now awaits the fate of marital rape in legal framework of the country. Whether the impute exception will be ruled out as unconstitutional or the status quo prevails, the judgment is evidently awaited.
Thank you for watching the video. Hope it was helpful. For more such informative content, subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android devices.